Oh, hey, Kurt. Yeah, hey, what's going on? Just, just trying to turn my nuts. Oh, it's not working? It's, you see what happened? Oh, that doesn't look so good. No, it's... That snap-on won't even take it off? No, snap-on won't take it off. Huh. Well, it's a good thing I stopped at the store. Bought this new tool kit. Oh, sweet. I've heard about this. This is the Craftsman Overdrive Kit. Huh. I didn't even realize. I just saw, like, Craftsman and said Kurt might like that. Well, let me tell you guys about the Craftsman Overdrive Series. It's a new thing they're doing. It's in the stores. And you can buy this kit retail for about $230. I don't work for Craftsman, so I don't really know. But that's about what we paid. It's a 154-piece set. Comes in this nice little handy case. And the whole point of their overdrive series is because they say it's for the tight torque technology where it removes fasteners rounded up to 70%. That's, that's serious. And they not only just do it in the wrenches, they're doing it in the sockets. In the wrenches, they've got their tight torque. There's those grooves that you might see like in a snap-on wrench. Other brands do it as well, Mac, you know, they all do it, where they have the grooves in the open end of the wrench to prevent slipping. Well, they've done it now in the box end and in the sockets. So let's open it up and let's take a look at what you get. Inside, you'll find we get quarter inch, three eighths, and half inch drive. All three of their ratchets are 180 tooth. And they're pretty nice. Not only is the 180 tooth, but there's barely any play, you know. So it's a nice, tight, well-built ratchet. These are made overseas somewhere because there's nowhere on this does it say USA made. But it seems like they got their quality control in spec. Their wrenches, they give you nice variety, SAE and metric. And like we said, you get the tight torque technology in the box end and in the open end. So they definitely have innovated a little bit. This is a pretty standard kit. It includes six point sockets, shallow and deep, variety of sizes. Obviously it doesn't include everything, but what they did include, we got the one inch for half inch drive. 15, 16, 7, 8. This is some pretty big stuff. In metric, we got 24, 22, 21. It's got all the main popular sizes. As far as small stuff, we go down to 6 millimeter. You know, we have the 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. In quarter inch drive, we have quarter, 9 30 seconds, 5 16 and so on. And of course, as always, they always shove the Allen keys in your face so that they can say they have more pieces. Quickly, let's compare this to my old trusty toolkit. This was my first toolkit. I bought in Sears when I got my first car. And one of the things that I really liked about this is it came with this compartment for additions. I keep a little thing of the W in here. I got my cutting pliers, got a utility knife, keep some electrical tape, needle nose. I've got security bits in here, flat blade screwdriver with a little bit of dialectic electric grease on me. Got my wire brush. Got a magnet tool because you're always dropping bolts and things in the engine bay where you don't want them. And I got some extra 3 8 drive extensions in here. But now let me tell you, this toolkit has come with us on so many different trips and adventures and it's been put to the test for years. Mm -hmm. Literally Kurt has added as he sees fit and he has customized this for all the different things that we work on and it has been a savior to us. I put in everything that was necessary and then removed things that I didn't use later on. I even have a drill adapter in here for 3 8 drive. Just in case you wanted to run a socket on your drill, impact drill, however. This originally did come with the hex key sets. They came in the little bags. I just threw those out. I didn't want to deal with them anymore. I never used them. So what do we have? And here we have six wrenches, six point SAE and metric. My kit back in the old days, this one was also six point wrenches. This one, however, 
gave you 10 through 15 millimeter. And in here, they did 10 through 16. And they did that by skipping the 11. In my kit, I added an eight millimeter wrench. I just kind of shoved it in there. I cut a hole because that was something that I felt that I needed. I exchanged the original three inch extension to a wobble. I upgraded the ratchets. I put the 84 tooth quarter inch, 84 tooth three eighths. And then I got one of the old tri-wing Craftsman round head ratchets because these things are indestructible and you can literally say you're in uh, on the side of the road and you're trying to take off a lug nut with this whatever and you're jumping on it beating it with logs whatever it can take it it takes abuse so i took out the original cheaper ratchets that were in here and replaced them with that what do we get in each kit well we have a universal joint in here that's pretty nice they did give us a six inch extension for the three inch drive they gave us the bit adapter, so now you can take any of your bits and put them on. They gave us a quarter inch spinner, but you could also use the ratchet to use it with those tools. We did not get that in the old kit. We got a half inch drive extension that was not in my old kit. Sockets are give and take. This kit is an old USA made kit. They did give you a little bit of 12 point for 3 h drive. The rest of it was all 6 point. And they gave me pretty decent amount of sockets, but we didn't go up to these larger sizes like 15, 16, 1 inch, 22, 24 millimeter. I did not get those in this kit. So this comes with a little bit more sockets that I think you might use. And let's test out that tight torque technology for you guys. So we've done some scientific bolt rounding here. Uh, and basically what we did, we put a 15 millimeter on this 14 millimeter bolt and railed on it with the Milwaukee Impact, simulating a 70% or more rounded nut. So we got a snap-on wrench and we got our Torque Tech Craftsman. The snap-on is a 12 point and this is, you know, in a standard shop condition. This is what you would probably be working on stuff like this with, not expecting... To encounter something like this, you got to loosen it and you're rounding, rounding, try an alternate angle, or just rounding, and I think we're making it worse. Go to the open end. We're not having a good time here. Okay, I think we've proved the point. Torque Tech technology. Let's try the open end first. Let's be, you know, let's, let's adventure in here. Let's see if we can even get it on there. We're on with the torque tech technology. It's tighter. It is getting more grip than the snap-on, surprisingly. But can we actually do the job? I don't think we can do the job with the open end. Let's go to our Torque Tech box end. Get us on there as good as we can. Get a good grip. Oh, we did it. We did do it. That, that is gripped. And if you look in there, it is, it's not in there. I wouldn't say that's anything in there is right, but it's gripped. Kind of like, you know, one of those extractor bits. Let's see if we can tighten it back up. We get pretty tight on there. Let's do the socket test. See how tight we can get it with the socket. That's about it. So now we got our snap-on standard six millimeter, I mean 14 millimeter six point socket. Put it in reverse, get her on there. Let's see if we take it off. And we are taking it off. Snap-on sockets are pretty good. We'll tighten it some more. 
and compare it to the Craftsman. Make sure to round it off a little bit more, just for fun. Take the Craftsman Torque Tight Technology, get her on there, and we're clearly doing the job. Sockets, definitely easier to work with than the wrenches, but in a tight space, the wrench has proved to be a better option than a standard 12-point uh, combination wrench on the box end. This is just a light test, just showing you guys what you can do. Is this kit worth spending the money on? Maybe, you know. Depends on how many rounded, rusted nuts you're working on, but if you live where we live in New York and you see how they salt our roads around here, anything underneath the car usually gets pretty rusty, and I've seen some nuts that don't even look like nuts anymore. So, it's a little overpriced for Craftsman, way cheaper than Snap-on. The stuff in here is pretty good quality, so if you're looking for a good kit, you probably don't need it, but if you don't have a problem spending a little extra money for a little extra security, it's not bad. I picked it up because I think this is something that Craftsman has tried. I think they're going to probably discontinue it at some point due to lack of interest, and these things will be kind of rare and unique, and I kind of like stuff like that. And I don't have a set of six-point wrenches other than my mobile kit which lives in my car so we will have that in the garage in case we really do need to use a wrench in a really tight spot with a really bad nut now other than that I like their four latch system we have these metal latches compared to my old toolkit where everything is cheap plastic now I'm surprised that these latches have never broke on me. They've actually lasted a long time. But what happens with my toolkit is if you take a toolkit and you simulate, I don't know, driving the old shake running test. around, this thing, nothing moves in this kit. And this is just going to get me upset because I know what happens. And you open up your kit and... This actually did pretty well, but every once in a while, if I don't use my kit for a while and it does a lot of driving, these sockets will just, they just spill out and they get all unorganized. This, everything stays inside. So, a lot of times my quarter inch wrench falls out and lands down here. Just things move around in this. They're not moving around in here. There's no extra storage space on like here though. But I haven't seen Craftsman come out with a toolkit with extra storage space in it since I bought this probably 10 years ago. So that's my comparison. It's my review. I like it. I think it's expensive. I don't think it's going to last. I don't think they're going to keep making this. I think it's just going to be a short-lived thing and turn into more of a collector's item, shelf, dust collector kind of thing. What do you think, Nick? I think I agree. Um, when we initially bought it, I was pretty excited. Like I said, we, like Kurt said, we pay full price for all this stuff. We're not sponsored by anybody. Um, and you know, out the door, it was over two hundred and fifty dollars with tax, and I was excited. But after Kurt opened it up, I was a little disappointed in uh, what I saw and just the, you know, some of the size sizes that they didn't give you versus the quality of some of the other stuff in the kit. Uh, I don't think you touched on the nut, the spinner handle. Um, it feels like a Tonka toy. It, it's just really yeah. poor quality. Now, in my old kit, they gave you a screwdriver for the screwdriver bits. In here, they did something a little bit different. They gave you a spinner handle, and then they gave you the you know, option to use sockets, or you can use the bit driver and use it for the screwdriver. This spinner handle is a joke. This is as foreign, cheap garbage as you can get. The only thing that makes it a little bit nice is the steel and the gunmetal chrome feels nice, but, and you know, it does lock on and the tolerance is semi-tight. 
So it's just a step up from Taiwan garbage. But this is not comfortable. It's a bit small. I, I really would have just rather have gotten something like this. And Craftsman don't make these anymore. But it's my opinion anyways. That and just overall the selection of uh, wrenches. Um, in the SAE it's not too bad. But only going up to 16 millimeter. Uh, a lot of vehicles use 17. So I would have liked to see that. Um, and that is something that even in the older kit. 10 years ago. There's U all USA made in here. They didn't do that either. They never really have. They definitely could, especially if they got rid of the Allen key idea. There's plenty of room for it. I mean, just give us one more wrench on each one. Give me a three quarter and give me a 17. They, they don't listen. They, they're making them cheap. And it's, it's a starter kit, but you really want an on the go kit. You want what you really need to use. I mean, when we were working on Subarus, 17 millimeter was, the uh, main bolt for the caliber bracket so i think overall we'll have to update uh in the future when we get some rusted bolts if they're not going to come off with our conventional tools even though we do use higher quality snap-on and, and things um if we get a bolt that's not going to work with a snap-on maybe we'll break this out and maybe that will change our mind in the future actually out in the field working on things but with a quick initial test and initial viewing of this versus something american like this um, and especially on the price point, this was way cheaper back in the day. I understand, you know, prices on things have gone up, but mm -hmm. this was like, what, a hundred dollar tool set when you bought it? Well, I bought this 10 years ago. I paid $90, but I had like a coupon and I think my mom had some Sears points or something. Like I put in the phone number and they were like, oh, you have points or whatever. So I got a really good deal on this. I believe this was probably more of like a $130, $140 kit at the time. And this is a really nice kit. Most of the kits are not this inclusive. So this was a very high-end kit at the time. But if they just made something like this now, the exact same way they did it before, and still offered it at $150, $160, where it should be priced and not $239. And like you said, it, it's whatever. not even the Made in America kit. Uh, it is overdrive, which is cool, but it's all foreign. Yeah, I don't have a big thing against the foreign stuff. I do like USA made stuff, but the most important thing is quality control. So I have looked at these ratchets and I've checked them for play and they are very nice. The quality control is definitely here. Same thing with the sockets. They did a good job. Everything is stamped nicely. The lines are all clear. You know, it looks like good work, except for the spinner handle uh, I, I don't like that but it's overpriced they they could have if if all of this was put in a case like this at the right price i think that would have been the deal so i think after we get some time on our belt we'll have to give a long-term review of this but i think for now kurt what do you want to give it for your initial rating out of 10 if you had to compare the two and then maybe the people down in the comments can give what they think their initial rating would be. It's expensive. It's good, decent quality for a mid-tier brand. So, out of 10, it's a, it's a 7. Versus, There's nothing wrong with it. This is a 9. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, go ahead in the comments. Drop what you think your rating would be and maybe if we do a future video on this maybe we can update that all right well guys keep on wrenching and keep on watching <laughs> subscribe like comment go check out nick on nk landscaping i've heard you probably have heard me talk about that before if you've been watching the channel for a while but maybe you haven't checked them out yet and maybe you got time now the holidays are coming up so have a nice holiday whichever one you celebrate celebrate none i don't know enjoy yourself enjoy time with family keep on wrenching